Hey friends, our family has had chickens now for almost five years. And just about once every year, we go get a batch of new baby chicks and then slowly integrate them with our older chickens over the course of a few months. You see, here was something that I did not know about chickens at first. They can be extremely mean and vicious. And I'm not even talking about the roosters here. These older hens will sense out the vulnerable new chicks and consistently bully them, making sure they know who the boss is. They really don't call it the pecking order for no reason. But the ironic and interesting thing to me is that these older chickens who are currently picking on the younger chickens were themselves being picked on not long ago when they were first integrated as the new batch of chicks. I get frustrated when I see this. I wanna go tell them, did you like being picked on earlier? Why are you the ones doing it now? Don't you know what you're doing? But after recently reading in Romans chapter one, I realized that we humans can do this very same thing. In his letter to the Roman church, the apostle Paul is highlighting the detestable practices and sins of the world. He says, they are backstabbers, haters of God, insolent, proud and boastful. They invent new ways of sinning. As I was reading these verses, I was thinking to myself, yep, those are some wicked people. You preach it, Paul. But then God slapped me across the head as I read the very next verse. You may think you can condemn such people, but you are just as bad and you have no excuse. How often do I see the actions of others and find it so easy to judge or condemn them? This is a gross and unacceptable attitude. One that the Pharisee had in Luke 18 when he proudly boasted and prayed before God, thanking him that he was not a sinner like the tax collector behind him. And most of us are familiar with the famous teaching from Matthew 7. Hypocrite, first get rid of the log in your own eye, then you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. I can find myself frustrated with simple chickens when they are acting in a way they would have been condemning just months before. How much more do I need to be aware of my own actions and remember that I will be the only one accountable for those actions when I stand before our perfect Father in heaven. So let's all be encouraged today that there is no perfect person and that as believers, we are all on a journey together, walking towards perfection each and every day. Let's not fall into the trap of the pecking order. Let's help one another out. Let's not judge, condemn, or grumble against others. We are all in need of the perfect grace, mercy, and love of Jesus.